Like maybe some shoulder rotation. There we go. None of it's quite perfect. It's super flattering. But can you just close the space between you two a little bit there? I was one of the ones kind of laughing and kind of like, really? Fashion in Omaha? Okay. I was in the fashion and beauty industry in New York, LA, Paris. Locally, I wanted to do something just to encourage creativity. I discovered that there were these, these like fashion designers and this fashion talent here in, in Omaha. We've got this really interesting designer scene, but it's not just the designers. Models, makeup artists, hairstylists, photographers. Oh, that was good. A thousand good. people who help out behind the scenes. We work with about 55 independent fashion designers, and we have 9,000 attendees that come to our shows every year. There you go. That's really good. Omaha is actually the fifth largest fashion week in the country and the largest fashion week in the Midwest. And then you'll take your pins and just pin. I started sewing when I was eight years old in 4-H. My first year, I won grand champion against all of the high schoolers, so <laughs> that was like kind of a big deal for me at the time. The biggest dream is to one day have my own boutique in New York. I'm just a little baby in the fashion world. My background is like visual arts painting. I would describe myself as like more coming at it as a sculpture artist. You have to take in all those considerations of how it works on the body first. Feel good? Mm -hmm. I don't disregard that for the sake of making a piece of art. I've always had a love for fashion. In the past, I have kind of been ashamed of my culture. Since I moved here from Africa when I was six years old, you know, I had to learn English. I had to like adapt to the American culture. I guess I kind of lost myself in it. So now this collection, it really means a lot to me. So I'll be using the main inspiration here, which is the fabric from West Africa. I'm always gonna be African, so it's very, very special to me. I started sewing when I was 15, and I needed to make a homecoming dress for myself. It started out of necessity. I am self-taught. I wanna do these shows and push my limits, push the other designers. Let's step it up another level. I definitely believe that fashion is kind of a form of art. We have the illustration, pattern making, kind of like architecture, the actual construction of the garment, which is kind of like sculpting. I definitely want people to say, I'm wearing Quentin Lovelace. So we start off here. I'm gonna have this Kate be the opening look. This is an exciting day. We all get to review the work they've done. Oh, this is my first fashion week ever fashion show, so. Good, well, we're um, excited to have you. Yeah. Our Fashion Institute Midwest selection panel will meet with each designer, score the collection. Isn't she gorgeous? And the top scores then make it into the finale. Did you pick the yellow after you found this? Some of it is constructive criticism. The hope is that the designer will take that advice and, and use it because we still have three weeks until showtime. I love that. Good job. Thanks. Becoming an entertainment factor here, and people are coming to see what fashion is all about in Omaha. I can't tell you how many people say, oh, I'm not a fashion person. And I'm like, well, are you wearing clothes? <laughs> if you're wearing clothes, you're a fashion person. It's okay to express your individual style. It's a fun thing to see how people bring that to life on the red carpet. Can you walk in them? 
It was pretty hectic. You know, we had a lot of quick changes and a lot of models just coming out of nowhere. Did you get them ready? Um, I just need to get them dressed. This is fine. Are you sure? Yeah, it's fine. I just... Even though it's like crazy, you still love every minute of it. He will be famous. Once I got backstage, it's like boom, 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 like got to do this, got to get them in line. What I usually do personally is get them dressed one by one so I know that they're runway ready. Ellie! Ellie! Okay, get it on, then get it back to me really quick. I had to do 10 models in about, I'd say, 15 minutes. I had volunteers tell me, hey, we got to go, we got to get them in line. Like, I know, they need clothes, like they can't go on the runway naked. You put about four to five months of work into one collection and it's done within 10 minutes. That was really fast, you know. All that work was put into that small amount of time, but it was worth it. It's love sweating. <laughs> A lot of running around. I feel like it's my best work and I just, I want to keep growing. I'm very proud of it. Buff is a veteran of all veterans. Her designs, they come from deep within her. You backstage emergencies trying to sew some girls up um, because their zippers had broke. This was my 10th collection. Okay, go over there. Once I saw everything together, it was, you know, kind of a whole new experience then from seeing them in my living room, you know, uh, they don't look quite the same as they do on the runway. He's just, you know, very, very talented. Very driven, She's very dedicated to this art. She'll go far. She's just emerged into this young woman now from that little girl that used to sit and sew these things. There was a lot of changes that had to be made and I had to stay on top of like the itinerary and that's always kind of stressful. I love how things are starting from liquid and then you turn them into something and become solid. They look hard but they're really flexible and soft. It's all the juxtaposition of the hard and soft that I'm going for but in reality, it's all soft, and so it's really easy to wear. He was part of the group of people that inspired me to start this. He creates his own fabrics out of silicon. He's just very, very, very creative. He's now starting to get recognition. He's got a showroom in LA. He's just crazy, crazy talented. But until he had this opportunity, he wouldn't have necessarily have known that. He's this genius. All of that detail is all hand molded. We'll see him in LA. He'll be in the movies industry. Within the next red carpets, they'll be wearing his looks out there. The stressful bits are putting all those things together, trying to work out if we're going to be able to afford to do it. When we talk about the young designers ever. making success and they're starting to become self-sustaining, whenever we're having a, a challenging <laughs> moment, we go, okay, this is why we do it. Right. <laughs>